Hi, Askin RTC here, and in this video, we will be going over how U.S. Navy sailors navigate ships, and at the end of the video, you'll be able to navigate ships too. Now, when you get to your first ship, it can be kind of confusing, and this information can help you get around, or if you're on your ship and you go to another ship that you're not familiar with, like you go to a different class of ship that, whether you go from a frigate to a destroyer to an aircraft carrier, if you're able to look and read at the signs that teach you how to navigate a ship, then it'll be easy. Uh, when you're on a ship that you're assigned to, eventually it comes to the point that you just name the name of the space that you're going to go into. Say you're going to be going to the forecastle, or going to go to the bridge, I'm going to go to birthing, I'm going to go to the galley, and no one goes around saying tack numbers or space numbers, which we're about to get to here. You just say that you get comfortable with it. What, there are times where you have to locate things, and things are named in their location by these tack numbers. So specifically, we'll look at one of these. This is called a bullseye. You'll, they're located in every space. Usually right when you enter a space, the, it should be visible from right when you enter. And we're going to be breaking this down to explain how this works of locating a space. And then later on, we're going to go over how to navigate to a space. So breaking this down, you can see in the top row, the 3 means the deck number. The 202 means forwardmost frame. The 0 means pos position related to center line. And the L or Lima, it means what type of compartment. It could be Lima, usually means living space, so like Quebec, which is common space. Uh, so the letter at the end is just what the purpose of that space is. Below, you can see it says FR202, TAC210. Uh, that's the most forward frame and the most aft frame. And if that's confusing, we'll go over that here in a second as well. And then below that in the last line, you see it says S5. So the S stands for division, so supply division, and 5 is the work center, so S5. So... If it was the first work center, it would be S1. There's multiple work centers that make up a division. And then divisions make up a department, and the department make up the ship. So if we were to go and break down how ships look, first we can look at this picture here. This picture is just a basic outline of a ship so that we can draw on it and have a basic understanding. Let's talk about decks, since that was the first one on the bullseye. So as you can see here, I drew a line that shows this is the main deck or deck one. Now, this is important to understand the decks and levels. So the main deck of every ship is usually where the flight deck is. Uh, it can be different on some ships is what I've been told. But for most ships, it should be the where the flight deck is or the main part of the deck. So uh, people also call this main deck or DC deck because you'll find your repair lockers in there for fighting fires or any emergencies. But this is the, the first deck or deck one. So the further down you go, you got first deck, you go down a level, second deck, go down another level, third deck, so on and so forth until you hit the bottom of the ship. Now the opposite of that, above the first deck, not to be confusing, would be called the O1 level. So as you see here, we got the first deck still, but above that is the O1 level, and then above that the O2 level, above that the O3 level. Now levels are all going to be above the first deck and they're usually some way exposed to the weather decks but not all the, there are going to be some that are inside the superstructure that are not exposed whatsoever but after that first deck that's exposed to the weather deck or to the first deck everything after that is called the o1 level o2 level o3 level as you go up so levels are above and decks are below so after that we would talk about the frame so as you can see here it's a little rudimentary but the frames start with number one being all the way at the front and then two three four five it goes as you go back or uh, to the ship the frame numbers go up so if you're at the first frame you're at the very front of the ship and if the ship is 565 feet long then you'd be frame 565 and you'd be falling off the back of the ship uh, but yeah so that's how you show um, the forward to back so we learned up and down forward to back the next thing to learn is left and right so first you gotta set up what's called the center line and that's the middle of the ship. So let's rotate the ship here so it's a little bit easier. So this is a top down view and that's the front of the ship. Uh, so or the forward most part of the ship. So once again, we draw that center line and everything to the left is port and everything to the right is starboard. And the way that works is when you're building out from the, oh, and the center line is zero. So when you're building out, they count up in numbers as well. So, but if you're going out to starboard or the right side, It'd be one, three, five, seven. So starboard odd. And then port is even. So two, four, six, eight. Numbers getting larger as you get further away from center line or further away from zero. So the best way is port is a four letter word, left is a four letter word. So port left even, starboard right odd. It makes it a little bit easier when you're trying to figure out what side of the ship you're supposed to be on. Uh, just a little another rudimentary design for this. So as you can see, I drew a square on the top, and that's right on center line. That would make that compartment zero for what if it's port or starboard it would be zero so the next box down is to the right so it's starboard next box down is to the left so uh sorry it's one so the next box down to the left is two 
And then this next one I drew down actually goes over. And then there's a compartment to the right of it or the starboard of it. So you can see I drew zero slash one. So it's the center one is zero and the one to the right of it is compartment uh, one. And then below that, and just another example, uh, put zero and then two and then four. So the further, more and more spaces it gets out. So it's not necessarily a measured distance from the, the center line. It's how many compartments from the center line. So you might have one compartment that just cut like goes from port to starboard all the way across. And that's still going to be compartment zero uh, just because it's covering the center line and then it crosses over the center line and then, you know, that's it. That's, that makes it zero. Uh, but you could have up to eight spaces that stack out to the right. Uh, so then you'd go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. So the higher the number, that's how many spaces to that side it goes to. So if it's, uh, for example, on the starboard side and we say uh, the compartment is, is three, then that would mean that it's the second one from the center line. There's still one more compartment before it. Uh, and then the, the same for port. If you say it's, it's compartment four, then it would be the second one from the center line uh, to the port side. So with this newfound knowledge, we're going to put it to a test and also put it in a little bit simpler terms. Take, for example, this cube. So this cube is just like a ship. Uh, it's not, not every space on the ship is going to be perfectly square or anything like that. But for an easier way to explain this and also help navigate, we're going to utilize this cube. And it makes it really simple. So let's go ahead and put ourselves on this cube. As you can see here, we're this little stick figure at the top. And we're in the center, and I drew an arrow saying what's going forward. So if we were to give ourselves a location according to this cube, the same way that we would navigate a ship, we could say our current location is 01, tack 1, tack 0. So we're going to say that this is 01, one level above the main deck. So we're uh, 01, and we're in the forwardmost frame, and we're in the center line. So let's say that we want to go to 1, tack 3, tack 2. So in order for us to get there, we would have to go all the way aft of this cube, go down one to the uh, deck, and then to the port one. So going aft would make it to three, and going to the port would make it on the port side, so it would be the, the second compartment, or compartment two, and then going down one, right? Because we went from 01 to one, so we went from 01 level to the first deck, which means we're going down one. Another quick practice would be trying to get to destination two tech, two tech one. Right, so we have to go from the 01 level to the second deck, so we have to go down two spaces, and then we'd have to go from the first frame to the second frame, so aft one, and then we'd have to go from center line zero, starboard to the or to the right one. So hopefully this makes it a little easier to understand, uh, and you'll be able to navigate ships a lot easier when you get to them. Let us know if you have any questions or anything down ideas below. Hoo ya, Navy.